welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Canelo Alvarez and Triple G looks like it's on. And let's just break it down. You know, according to Lance Pugmire with the LA Times, and also according to the Athletic, sources are indicating Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin have agreed to the trilogy matchup. And so this will cap, you know, cap the, the end of their rivalry. Uh, you know, the first fight, you know, Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G was very... You know, it ended in a draw. It was very interesting. It was a very controversial fight. And, you know, that demanded a rematch. And then the rematch came. You've seen Triple G and Canelo. You know, it was a completely different fight from the first fight. The first fight, Triple G controlled the fight with his jab. Canelo Alvarez was slipping and moving a lot of shots. And the second fight, Canelo Alvarez insisted on walking Triple G down at shots, going to the body, hitting him with great shots, but Triple G was still in the fight. So it was an excellent fight. But it was a way that we've never seen Triple G been manhandled before. So it was a, it was a thrilling fight, and there was controversies in both fights. Uh, you know, so a lot of people... People feel like there needed to be one more fight to settle the score, to end all of the talk, you know, just to pretty much give us who is the better fighter. And so that's what the trilogy looks like it's going to be for. The zone has been wanting and pushing for this fight for quite a while, and they finally got the fight they've wanted. So, you know, obviously when the coronavirus passed, obviously when Canelo Alvarez fights, you know, Billy Joe Saunders, once they get past all of those obstacles, then we'll be looking at a Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin fight. So, you know, that's going to be an interesting fight. And the way I see it breaking down, you know, I see Triple G. He's a little bit older now. He took sustained punishment from a guy like Sergey Devin. Vrienchenko, who's no slouch. He's a very good fighter. While Canelo Alvarez is in his prime, he's improving. He's slipping and moving a lot. His defense is at the elite level. So, you know, if we got to be honest and unbiased when we see it, you know, we got to be real about it. I think that Canelo Alvarez stops Triple G in a trilogy. You know, I think Canelo Alvarez is just going to be too much for Triple G. I think Triple G was, you know, a terrific fighter, but I think his decline, his age, and also the fact that, you know, Triple G at this point, you know, he's changed his style a little bit with Jonathan Banks. You know, I have seen his jab noticeably missing. And so that bothers me as well. I think for a fight of this magnitude, if Triple G, you know, want to go with what works, I would say at least what made him to be at the top of his game when he did fight Canelo was Abel Sanchez. If I was Triple G, I'd look back towards Abel Sanchez, pay him what he wants for this one fight and call it a day. But, you know, it is what it is. If he goes in with Jonathan Banks, I think that's a mistake personally. But I think Canelo Alvarez at this point, you know, he's going to be too much a sustained body attack. Uh, you know, Triple G is just not going to be able to learn enough defense and different types of counters to be able to become a more proficient fighter against a guy like Canelo Alvarez with elite level defense, head movement. Uh, you know, his footwork is improved and he's just he's in his prime. It's just too much for Triple G at this point, but it will be a great fight and it will settle the score. But once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP.